Hey guys, welcome back. So today, working on something a little bit different. This is a 2010 Ford F-150, and I recently purchased it from my mother-in-law. It used to belong to my father-in-law. He passed away about eight years ago, and the truck's been sitting more or less since then. Anyway, I finally bought it from her, and it needed a bunch of stuff just to drive it home. So we've got all new tires, new brakes, and even a new caliper in the front right. But now that it's here, there are a few other issues I want to fix. Uh, let me show you the first one. And as you can probably hear, the belt it's making a bit of noise. Now, it does go away after about half an hour of driving. Of course, it's not right. You know, we do need to get that replaced. Now, I'm hoping it is the belt. It could actually be the belt tensioner or the idler pulleys. You know, I didn't buy those, so I guess we'll find out in a minute which it is. You know, besides the belt, we do have issues with the blower motor. Right now, we're on the fourth setting, and it's running just fine, but all the other settings there is absolutely no blower motor engagement. So the resistor for the blower motor is bad. And I actually replaced it about six weeks ago. I got a cheap Amazon one and it worked great for six weeks. And now it doesn't do anything. So I actually picked up the OEM part. So we'll get that installed as well. And of course, we need some new wipers. It's been raining a lot and the ones that are on there are pretty bad. So let's get the engine shut down and we'll disconnect the battery and start by replacing that belt. So the important thing to note here before pulling the belt off is just the current routing of the belt. Take a picture of it. In my case, I'm taking a video. Uh, sometimes under the hood too, it does have a diagram or maybe in the owner's manual if you get into trouble. Anyway, to get the belt off, you should use a half inch extension without a socket. In my case, I don't have an extension, but I do have a half inch breaker bar, which might work. And what you want to do is take the tension off the belt. And once you do that, you can flip it off the alternator. And then just let up on the pulley, the tensioner, I should say. <laughs> and get your wrench back. Once you do that, you can get the belt off, put the new one on.
All right, so I'm at the point where the belt is routed correctly. So I'm gonna do the last step here. We'll take the tension off the tensioner. We'll put the belt up on to the alternator and then we'll just double check everything. Make sure it is actually routed correctly and that the belt is correctly on each of the pulleys before trying to start the engine. It's a good thing I double checked my work. There is a routing error on the belt. It is in the bottom right. So let me take the tension back off. We'll correct that mistake and we'll double check it again. Make sure we're right this time. As far as I can tell, we are routed correctly and the belt is properly on each pulley the way that it should be. So let's get the power reconnected. We'll start it up and find out. Alright, here goes nothing. Look at that. Nice and quiet. Much better. Nice and quiet. So, we'll cross belt off the list. Let's fix the blower motor. Just taking a look at the old belt. It's original to the truck as far as I know. It's 13 years old and it's not cracked. And surprisingly, I don't see why, you know, it would have been making so much noise. Anyway, let's fix that fan. So to gain access to the resistor, we need to pull the glove box. So there's just a couple bolts holding the bottom on. And once that's loose, we can just unlatch the top and get it out of the way. Now we can unlatch it and you just bend the sides a little bit to release it. And just set that aside. I guess technically you don't have to remove the glove box. You can reach up under to gain access. It's just you can't see what you're doing. So let's find something that'll fit. That one seems to fit. That is an eight millimeter. There's really no good way to do this so that you can see it. All right, that last bolt is out. This piece should just slide right out. What's interesting, the epoxy on the cheapo Amazon one looks like it started to flake off or bake off. You know, otherwise it doesn't look bad. No obvious signs of failure. 
So hopefully this isn't going to be a chronic issue with this truck. The resistor that was in there originally was OEM. And that one did work on the third and the fourth speed, but not any other speeds. So let's get the new one in. Just snug these up. You don't have to make them super tight. You're just screwing this into plastic. And any more than snug, you're gonna strip it out. There we go. All right, let's give this a try. We'll get the car in the accessory mode. So right now we're in the number one fan position and I do hear the fan. Let me just put the microphone up there. Maybe you can hear it if the car would stop yapping. So we'll put it in number two. That works. Number three. And that is not working. It actually slowed down again to the number one speed and then of course number four which is working just fine so i think we have either a wiring issue or another bad resistor unfortunately so let me make a trip to the dealer we'll get another resistor because the cheap amazon one did work for a while and this one well it's working better than the broken amazon one did but it's not right Unfortunately, it is Saturday afternoon and the dealer closed at one o'clock and they don't open again until Monday. So this one definitely needs to go back, but I'm impatient and didn't want to wait that long. So I stopped by AutoZone and surprisingly they had one in stock. It was only $30 and comes with a lifetime warranty. So if it happens again, I'm not going to have to pay for it again. Anyway, let's just plug this one in real quick without installing it. We'll test the modes and make sure they all work before finalizing the installation. All right, we'll do just a quick test. Uh, this resistor gets hot, and that's actually why you install it where you do, because the blower motor fan is blowing air across this to help it stay cool. Uh, but we should be okay as long as we just do a quick test. All right, let's try this again. I've got the car in the run position, the system is off, and I've got a microphone here in the vent so you can hear the airflow. So we'll turn it on. It's in the number one position, and I do hear the fan. It is blowing at a slow speed. Number two is also good. Number three, and of course number four. So that's all it was. Brand new part, unfortunately, was bad out of the box. So let me finalize this install and we'll call it done. Oh yeah, and that board is quite toasty already. So definitely don't want to run it for long without it being installed where it should be. Well guys, that's pretty much a wrap. I did throw the new wipers on, so a few easy fixes like we just did make a big difference. Anyway, as far as the resistor goes, you know, I am still very suspicious of what's going on here. The original resistor that came on the truck blew out. The Amazon one blew out after six weeks. Of course, the OEM one from Ford 
was bad out of the box. So we're now on our fourth resistor. You know, if that one blows out, then the next move is to really replace the blower motor. Although this one sounds good, it may not be good. And if it's pulling too many amps, then those resistors are gonna continue to blow. So only time will tell. Uh, for now, I think I'm done. So I hope this video helps someone. Thanks for watching.